Welcome back guys for another bus build update on Seeking Discovery. It's been a couple of days since I've been out here working on the bus, so I'm looking forward to jump back into it. So today the goal is to, similar to the, the last video, is to keep working on the electrical as well as start prepping the floor for rust conversion and hopefully in the next week or so we can get the primer down, seal up all the holes, and then ultimately put down a protective final coat on the floor so that we can keep moving forward on the build. Welcome to Seeking Discovery. I'm Ryan and I have a passion for travel and building things. At the end of 2020, I decided it'd be a great idea to purchase my very own school bus to convert into a tiny house. So come along as I make mistakes, learn a lot, and make lasting memories turning this old bus into a new tiny home. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to hit that subscribe button to follow along on all the adventures. I look forward to sharing this with all of you. And as always, continue to explore every day. So as I mentioned, again, the goal for today is to keep working on the electrical. You can see the panel there behind me. So kind of going through getting rid of some of that stuff and disconnecting what's no longer in use um, and ultimately trying to shed some of this extra, extra stuff out of the electrical system. So let's dive right in and get back to it. So last time we made some good progress on kind of starting to separate all those wires over there and start figuring out what we don't need. So you can see there's some extra wires that have been cut out or marked and removed. Um, ultimately today, I was hoping I was done with rivets, but that seems to not be the case. I need to remove this upper panel, this lower panel and the mount for the seat belt because the wire harness goes down right there in between the window. And to be able to access all those wires efficiently, that means I have to take those two pieces out. So I can already see there's some rivets behind that bracket there. So I'll get that bracket taken off and then get the rest of that out so we can see where all the wires are. So another quick update for you guys. As you can see back here, I got these panels off that were blocking where these wires were coming through. And I got the wire uh, wrapping and everything off of them. So they're all loose, which means all of these wires that are just sitting here, I can now go through, trace them to the bottom, cut them, disconnect them, and keep working. Um, so it's awesome that this is all loose now. There is still a little bit of stuff that's wrapped and tied up here, which goes to the light system. Um, but for now, this will allow me to keep working on getting as much of this out that's no longer needed. Sorry for the lighting, it's not great right now, but I'm out here at the electrical panel for the bus. I've also got the batteries out, so the first thing I'm going to do today is detach those batteries because I know these wires here are what I want to take out, which come somewhere in here. So that way, if these are connected somewhere live with the battery disconnected, there will be no energy in the system and we should be good to just take them out. So that's the first thing, disconnect the battery and then start figuring out where these wires connect in. Well, I decided to go in and add some voiceover for you guys, explain what I'm doing here in this video. So as you can see, I'm taking apart the different areas in the electrical panel so that I can pull all those wires out like I mentioned earlier. You may have noticed that I've got a yellow tool in my hand at some points, and that's actually my wire chasing tool. So I use that to figure out where wires begin and end without having to have them energized. So I'll drop a link in the description below. If you're doing any kind of wiring removal, I highly recommend investing in this tool. I wanna say it was about $30 or something. I got mine on Amazon and it makes it really easy when you're trying to go through the electrical system on these buses and trying to figure out what you don't need and where it's connected so you can actually get rid of it without causing any damage. So now on the inside, I'm working on getting the old stereo system out, but they had security screws on them and I didn't have the right kind of bit to deal with the security screw. So I went in with a vice grip and was able to get them detached that way. So ultimately when I bought my bus, the radio didn't work. So I figured I might as well rip it out and get rid of all that extra wiring that I don't need anymore.
and now I'm working on getting rid of some of that extra wiring that the school district put in for systems like the GPS, the camera monitoring system, and some of that was ran in throughout the dash, which is why you saw me kind of crawl in by the pedals. I was trying to pull all that extra wiring out, and now I'm kind of digging around, getting those things disconnected, so again, I can eliminate all the extra wiring that's no longer needed in this bus, just to make it easier to troubleshoot in the future if there are problems. Well guys, I am gonna wrap things up here for the day at the bus build. Got a whole bunch of the wires pulled out from in here. Things that the school district put in for safety that isn't required like camera systems, GPS, all of that. So that's what a bunch of this stuff is. And then on the inside, I was able to pull off some of the extra wiring for like the rear stop sign, the strobe light on the ceiling, the speakers because um, ultimately none of that stuff will be in there and I'll be doing my own sound system. So ultimately, like everything else with this bus build, it takes longer than expected, but made good progress on the wiring. So hopefully the next time I'm out here, I can get even more of it done. And because it's been cold in Florida, I've got the battery on a charger right now just to give it a little bit of a boost. And then I'm gonna test the engine, see if it still starts or if I messed something up real bad. Um, but other than that, we'll see you guys in the next part of the electrical video as I continue to take out the unnecessary elements of the original system.